Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Tough here. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be unboxing the Xbox Elite Series 2 controller. This is controller. Looks very nice. I'm so excited to finally play with it. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get this bad boy open. Okay. Now, I'm just going to flip it over and open like this so this is that and then controller everything is inside of this case just this carrying case is amazing by the way sorry if the quality is not that good oh my god dude i can't wait Oh my god. It feels amazing, dude. Oh, look, it's on. My god, the paddles feel amazing. Oh my, they feel so much better than my old controller's back buttons. And then we got this extra thumbstick, this extra thumbstick. And the high rise one. Then this one. I don't know what this is. And there's also this thing, but I'm not gonna take that up because I wanna keep the thing on. Um I don't know what this is. I think it's like oh yeah, this is the, like the charging. Charges in the case. All right, I'm back. Uh, I don't know where the wire is of where I'm like supposed to plug it in. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna find it. It's gotta be somewhere. So yeah, I'll be back. Alright guys, I found it. It's in this thing. That was in the case still. I thought everything was in the box, but I was wrong. Uh, just gonna get this thing opened real quick. As you can see, this is the wire. This is what it looks like. It's a USB-C. So yeah, I'm going to get my controller connected real quick. And I'll be back when I'm on Xbox Accessories to set everything up. Alright, it's now ready to go on to Xbox Accessories. So already it detects my Elite controller. Uh, okay. Give your controller a name. I'm just going to name it uh, James. I guess. Uh, so we're going to update it. Uh, I'll be back when it's updated. Alright guys, it's done. Let's go here. We're gonna configure it. Uh, I'm not gonna have a provox, I'm only gonna use this for Fortnite. Okay, this is present James editing this video. So yeah, I just wanna say to save you guys some trouble, I I spent over an hour trying to get my Xbox accessories to work. So what you need to do if yours doesn't work is you need to go into the app you need to have the actual Xbox app. So when you're in the Xbox app, you're gonna need to download all the apps that you need to be you need to have for the Xbox app. It'll show at the top, like you just go like into settings, and then um, it should be like in general, like there should be like some stuff you need to download. And then if that doesn't work and you cannot sign into your account, what you need to do is you need to go to settings, and then you need to go to account, whatever that is, account, and then you need to do where it says sign in with the Microsoft account said if no it should say sign in with the local account said you're gonna need to sign in with a local account and that should be able to fix not you not being able to sign in and then once you sign into Xbox your Microsoft accessories app will start working so yeah hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video hi guys it's president James again uh, I just want to say uh, 
this is me going over the software. Uh, I'm not gonna talk over this because I mean my mic was muted because I spent over an hour trying to fix it. But then I did fix it. And my mic was uh, muted, so yeah, I'm sorry about that. I have this clip sped up to 300%, and you guys can just watch and see what the software looks like and stuff. So yeah, sorry about that, but hopefully that's fine. Alright guys, we're on the game, and the controller is working. Uh, one more thing I forgot to do is the trigger stops on the back. So I'm just going to put them to all the way down. Because that's going to give me the biggest advantage in game. And oh my god, these buttons feel amazing. I already have my keybind set up, what I want to use. I did that last night. So yeah, we're gonna be just, I'm not really good on controller, but I'm gonna try and get good. And I'm gonna set up like a better controller cam after I'm done here. Cause I'm just gonna do first impressions and I'm gonna set up a better controller cam. So yeah. And oh my God. Controller feels nasty. I'm gonna go. I don't know why. I think my paddles still have the wrong buttons binded. I don't think I'm on the correct profile. Alright guys, we're back, and oh my god, the controller feels amazing. I don't know, why is it? Oh, I don't have it on the button. I don't think. I'm not sure. Hold on. Alright guys, we got everything set up now. Now we're finally playing. And oh my god, this feels so weird. Um, I don't know if I like the instant curve. change it to the smooth option so yeah now we're on the smooth option uh, i might go back to instant actually for movement but i'm definitely keeping it on smooth for my aiming the reason i'm like so bad is because i'm not used to these paddles i definitely do like them better but like the fact that there's four paddles is kind of messing me up about my uh My uh, button placement. I don't know why it's making me do that. I don't know why I can't edit on that. I think I'm just gonna have to change it to B. All right. So after a day of usage, or almost a day, and a day of figuring out how to get a better webcam set up like a day of just fixing everything like including my binds too which i am going to change soon but i just want to play on the binds that i'm comfortable with so i can actually have fun with the controller but uh yeah i'm now gonna give my thoughts on it and so yeah uh, first of all nothing is not working everything is fully working out of the box uh, so if you didn't know, B is bound to my paddle. So um, I got, but my B is functional. You see, my thumb is on B right now. I'm gonna edit, it's fine. Um, so yeah, uh, I do not like editing with B though. That's why I have a bound to my paddle. Cause I'm a non-call player. Uh, yeah. This, so basically, this point of my video was I could show all the gameplay with it. Um, if you want a better review, you can obviously go on like a tech channel with like lots of subs that has better like equipment and stuff if you review it better. So yeah, I'm just gonna get into the best part of this video, which is the gameplay. So yeah, hopefully you enjoy.
Oh my god. Alright guys, before we end this video, I just wanted to give an update. My Elite V2 is already double clicking on the RB, so I don't know if I'd recommend getting this controller. I'm sure I can get a replacement though, so I'm not really that worried about it. And it's not a huge issue, like I can fix it by pressing it a lot, and then it'll stop for like 10 minutes or a few minutes or whatever. So yeah, it's fine. Uh, I just would recommend getting like the Elite V1 or something, if you're just going to be using it wired anyway. So yeah, that's what I just wanted to say.